Hello again, Chris Thompson, NASA Solar System Ambassador, here with another story time. Today we're looking at Zoo in the Sky by Jacqueline Mitten with pictures by Christina Ballett. It's a book about animal constellations. Let's get started. When sun sets, darkness falls. The stars appear one by one. Then the sky turns to a picture puzzle. Some people say they only see lines and squiggles, squares and loops. But imagine hard and the sky comes to life. The star patterns make a wing here, a tail there, a twinkling eye, even a scorpion stinger. Now sky watchers long, long ago imagined a whole zoo of animals. They shine there still when you are under the magic spell of the nighttime sky. The great bear quietly pads her way around the north pole of the sky. Every day she makes this trip. Two bright stars across her back point to Polaris, the North Star. Hanging off Polaris by his tail, the little bear swings around behind her. You won't see bears quite the same anywhere else, because real live bears don't have long tails. Countless stars light the Milky Way. Along this silvery path, with wings outstretched, lies Cygnus the Swan. On July and August nights, he soars from east to west across the sky. It takes him from dusk until dawn. His eye gleams with the blue and gold star Alberio. He needs a good eye to keep a sharp lookout. The cunning fox Volpecula runs beneath him, looking for his dinner. The scorpion has a nasty sting in his tail. Beware as he scuttles across the Milky Way. His tail is curved around and he's waving his fearsome claws. And Terry's a blood red star glows at his heart, but the wolf nearby is not afraid. After all, he's not such a friendly creature himself. Leo the lion is king of the beasts and lord of the sky. In February and March, he looks down from a throne high up in the heavens. Stars in his mane shine like jewels in a crown. His brightest star lies close to his heart. That star's name is Regulus, which means the little king. Charging through the zodiac, here comes Taurus the bull. Head down, horns thrust forward, Taurus is ready to toss the twins. That's Gemini. But they're safe, always on the other side of the Milky Way. The bull glowers with a brilliant red eye, the star Aldebaran. A whole cluster of stars is scattered around his nose, and the Pleiades huddle behind his shoulder. These starry sisters are not afraid. They know that Taurus the bull never looks back. The great dog is chasing the hare, but he knows he can never catch it. This dog is a splendid, star-studded creature. His brightest star, Sirius, outshines all others in the nighttime sky. Sirius' name means Scorching One, which is a good name for a white-hot star. But spot it low in the sky, and Sirius flashes all the colors of the rainbow, like a diamond glinting in sunlight. Deep in the southern sky, the glittering goldfish swims alongside where the good ship Argo sails an ocean of stars. The flying fish gives chase in fun, soaring out of the waves. Now take care, he warns, we must not get caught. But the fish are safe in their starry seas. They will never be anyone's dinner. The whale is one of the greatest of all living creatures. He's one of the largest in the sky, too. A monstrous size, he's sometimes called Sita, the sea monster. On the whale's back, you'll find Mira, the marvelous star. See how red it glows by his fin? Mira keeps dimming until it disappears, and then little by little, it brightens once more. About a year later, it's back, bright as ever, only to fade all over again. A zoo without birds would never do. In the sky, there's a whole flock parading by the South Pole. Tails on display, the proud peacock and bird of paradise show off to anyone who watches. The toucan's glory is in his beak, studded with an orange star. And the crane peers at them all, stretching his long neck. Red and blue stars shine on his back. The long, scaly body of the crimson-eyed dragon, Draco, coils around the north pole of the heavens. Take care, he might breathe fire. You won't find a dragon like him in an ordinary zoo, but the starry sky is magic, 
and one fine sparkly night, who knows, you just might fall under its spell. Well, that's the end of our book, but it doesn't have to be the end of your sky watching. Get out at night, take a look around and see what constellations you can see. Maybe some from the book, maybe some you make up on your own. But take a look at the night sky. It's a beautiful and magical place. Until next time, keep your eyes on the skies.